Hello friends, in this video we are going to create the REST APIs using the type ORM with express notches, right? So in previous video, if you have checked my previous video, in the previous we have used the Postgres to connect to the DB, okay? So on that note, we are starting from there. So if you haven't watched the video, you need to watch the video so that you can come to know that how to connect the DB with the Postgres and we have already implemented the type ORM also right so here we are using creating the rest APIs right so let's start the tutorial so in the index.ts file so we have an index.ts index.ts file what do we need to write so here previously we have just created the connection right now you need to add the application app application express we are using application express right use body parser json you need to install this module body parser with port typescript and the uh, npm install body parser right so here i am using the router here i am using router from the routes and which port i am running on so listen to this port so that it will running on every in, in this port right Previously, we have uh, already con uh, closed this connection here, but uh, here we need to run this port. So here we are passing the port and this is connected. Okay, this is the app index.ts file, which you need to write this code for the routes so that they can uh, use the routes. And here we are using the retrieving that whenever you send the data that is used for body parser. And here the application that we use express through this we are creating the routes and assessing the routes okay so this is the these three lines these three things which we have added new one from the previous one right so this is very important and use this one body parser express right this we don't require because this we are not using it make sure config file is already there config file we have already added postgres which username password entities we are using user student patient and all right export type type ORM right so this is index.ts file after that we need to create a module that is called controllers and models we have already defined already told you that in models we have user.ts file which we have a name email and password configuration right when this load it will generate email password in the postgres field right after this we have controllers in controllers we have to use bikes by crypto.js json web token model express and type ORM. this is already okay so you can also use the dot uh, config for env so that you can make it configurable from the env file right so here i'm using a register api so register this one right so here you can see um, in the user.ts file index what we have written users user router this is user router right in the users we have routes right what we have defined the routes here we have defined route post register this one post login this one two routes we have defined so in index .e, index dot these two uh, use this full routes accessible by you by putting first users then register or lock it. then it will work okay so first of all check by whether the route is working or not so let's go to the postman so here I already created so here I'm going to write register so here I'm going to write register and here I'm if I put the same one what they're going to send the message email already taken right so I'm going to add one two so here it should be in draw JSON file name email and password if I'm going to uh, if I go and check this one data I'm sending this one now I'm sending the data let's send it user created user created if I go to my PG admin and check see 
in the users table in the users we have the data with the password right so you can see I'm able to create the user so how it is possible if I go to this controllers so what we are doing in the register we have taken the parameter request and response so here name email and password for the required body after that uh, user repository get repository that uh, that is in the type over here. so here I pass the entity user so find one if it exists with the email whatever we are sending the email then it shows email already taken else it will bycrypt that password and save into the database with email password and hash password then it will save into the DB and send in the response user created after that we have the login so I'm again sending the required body you email the password and finding with the email whether it exists or not if not exist then it will shows invalid email password else it will return with me the JSON token right the secret key and expires in and token right that will be used later on stages to authenticate that user right so if I uh, logged in where is my postman if I logged in with this one make it log in this token we are return right so this is the full fledged you can say uh, full rest API that you can, you can use this module full one to run the login register and you can make the modules with this is a basic boilerplate structure you can see we have controllers we have models we have routes right we have controller model routes this is DB seed you can use the seeds over here you can use seeding so when before you can start you can add the demi data with the help of seeding one right so this is seed part and we have config.ts for the database connectivity index.ts for running the node project so this is full uh, and we have packet.json where we have already added npm start with ts node source index.ts so this is we are using scripts okay anything else we miss ts.config.js this is also important compiler module target non complexibility this you include all the source with this file right so this is the basic boilerplate structure of the node type orm uh, type script right so hype hope you understand how to uh, use this quality structure to create the rest apis in the node.js type orm thank you so much for watching this video have a great day